So we are going to show you today how to do Brooks Bouquet, which is a great way of uh, creating some little lace interest and motifs in your fabric. And generally speaking, you'll work off of a graph of some type, like the one we have in our draft for the Bouquet of Hearts baby blanket. And in the graph, you can see that there are shaded in squares that make the shape of the heart. Each square represents, in our pattern, it represents two threads that are in the up position and one thread between them that is in the down position. For books bouquet in general, you will have a set number of up threads and down threads, and it's a choice that you can make or it will be given to you in the draft that you are working on. So now I'm ready to begin my first row of Brooks Bouquet. I've got my heddle in the down position uh, with the thread on the right. Now I want to center this in my piece here, and you can see these are my up threads and these are the down threads. So to center it, I just count over in twos from the edges till I get to my center. So these are the center two, and that's going to be my first bundle. So I just gently hold that with my fingers, and I pass the shuttle through the open shed and come out on, in this case, the left side of that first bouquet. And I'm going to pull that through and do as I would normally do if, if it were all the way across gently press it into place, and then I go back to the down position. All of my bouquets will be worked in the down position. So now this first row has me doing just one bouquet, and so here are my two center threads in that bundle. You can see that the yarn is coming out on the left side. So I'm going to take my shuttle and go back into the shed, and in this case, since it's just one bouquet, I am going to pull the shuttle all the way through to the other side, and I kind of hold it tight here so that I can cinch up my little wrap there, and then I'm going to press it into place. And you'll see that that's my first bouquet. I'm not going to be able to press as tightly on the rows that have the Brooks Bouquet because that knot is a little bit thicker. And the truth is, is that I don't want to really cram it in there because then I would lose the lacy effect. I'm now going to go back across, and this is considered part of that first shaded square. Each shaded square consists of the bouquet row where you're wrapping and the follow through row where you come back across. So now I'm ready for my second row. And in this row, I've got three shaded blocks across. There's my center two, and then one on either side. So I put my shuttle in, and I can see here's my, my center two, so now I want to wrap these two. So I come up on the left side again of my first bundle, and press that into place. I go back into the down shed, and now I'm going to make that series of three. So I am going into the right side of my first bundle, and then I'm going to come out under the left side of my second bundle. I can do it all in one motion there. And I pull it through, and I hold those two threads, warp threads tight, and I cinch down my bundle. And then I'm going to do it again, because I know I have one more to go, so I'm going under my center bundle and then under the two threads of the next bundle. And now I'm wrapping and cinching it down. And now this was my last bundle in the row, so now I go out the row entirely and I come back and I cinch my last bouquet down 
and put it into place. Now one thing that I've found is that sometimes this last bouquet, because there's a stretch of yarn there, it can sometimes loosen up. And so sometimes I will come back and just tighten it up a little bit and give it another press. And then finish the bouquet by weaving back across in the upshed. And you can see it creates these little windows there. It's a really beautiful effect. And you can create your own designs. Now I'm moving two over. And so it becomes a pretty easy thing. You beat before that first one and then you just start working your way across. Here's the one I'm completing. This is the next one that I'm going to. Pull it through, cinch the wrap down under the next two, pull it through, and cinch it down. And you just do this across the row until you get to the last one in that row. And then you go across. Now I'm going to jump ahead here. There's one place in this pattern where you have a break in the center of your design where you're doing the top part of the heart. And so that's a place where you're going to skip a bunch of the threads in the center. So for this one, we're going to just do these two and we're going to skip the center one because we're going to start creating the uh, top bumps of the heart. So I'm doing my first one. And that's the same as before. I go under the one that's next to it and tighten it down. And now this one, here's my skip one that's right next to it. So I'm going to skip those two threads entirely and then go to the next bundle and come up there. And that will get the, warp, the weft yarn underneath there without actually wrapping that bundle. And when you, in your lace design, you will see that the top of your heart will start to separate there. There we go. And then Go back across. You'll see now that you still have the lacy parts here on the side, but this center part is filled in because we're creating the little tops. <laughs>